Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over my Team of the Week, Week 12 predictions, guys. As you guys do know, we had a great day of Thursday. We had Thursday football. You have Saturday football. Oh, Sunday football, sorry. <laughs> Sunday football. We do have Monday Night Football tonight, and we also have some Tuesday Night Football, hopefully pending Ravens and Steelers' health. But that obviously won't be facts in the Team of the Week because by the time I play that game, Team of the Week's out. So no Ravens or Steelers more than likely for this week. Hopefully not. But moving on to this list, guys, and getting into everything. We have some pretty good predictions this week. Now, before we get into the video, as per usual, shout out to the Poodle Squad. We have Nero 2 times Z, or Nero 2 times. Shout out to you for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. If you guys want a chance to shout it out, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on that noti bell. Now, guys, moving on from that, you guys need coins to me of the week for the Blitz, Autumn Blast, so on and so forth. Head on over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off your order. Take advantage of the Blitz offers as well. And um, if you guys need coins for any of those players, go ahead and pick them up. But let's get into our Team of the Week, Week 12 predictions. So, you know I love doing this video each and every week. Heading over to sets. We go to Team of the Week. Now, here we go. So, we got Week 11 is our last week. As you guys do know, we had 92 overall players, right? That's kind of been the deal. Then, besides the LTD, then we got 92 overall. One more week of 92 overall. And now, going all the way back to week 8, 91 overall. So, we've had three weeks. So, I'm hoping there's a week we go up to 93s and 94 LTDs. Hopefully, that's kind of the hope there. But let's head on over to the auction block and show you guys the players I do predict. I'm going to go over the best ones real quick. Like, first, I'm going to try to get through the best players um, that I, you know, as far as the lower ones. But here are the lower set guys. Starting off with Chin. Uh, Chin for the uh, Panthers, I believe, had, he had two touchdowns off two fumbles essentially now jeremy chin did have an 84 overall so he'll probably get a plus uh he can't get a plus one because he doesn't have a power but he will i think he'll can get like an 89 overall team of the week player which will actually be just a usual version of him but he will not be getting a um you know a power plus or anything because of course he doesn't have the power up next we got joey bosa joey bosa had a pretty good day defensively he had three sacks which is really good for anyone ever so joey bosa will probably get a plus one that means he will get up to a 94 overall joey bosa which could be actually super useful Considering he already has a 94 for off finesse move, if you give him a plus two, he will get to a 94. He will probably get to like a 96 finesse move, which would mean he will get 99 finesse move powered up and chemed up, which is great. His block shit, of course, will still not be usable, but his speed and his excel should hit 90 and his speech gets like an 82. So, gonna definitely make him a much better pass rusher. You know, nothing crazy, but definitely gonna be great in general. Next, we got another guy which used to be a fan favorite back in the day. Now, he does not use as much in Madden, but. Deion Jones should be getting a plus one in his power. Now, it might be actually more than a plus one. He might get like an 86 or 87 overall card. So, in that case, he would get a pretty decent boost, which would bring his speed up to like an 88 or an 87 plus the power, of course. So, going to be pretty good. His zone could probably get to a decent uh, level as well, which definitely could make him a super, super useful card. Next, guys, we have Antonio Gibson, who had a great day on Thanksgiving. He had, I believe it was, let's see, he had uh, 115 yards, three touchdowns. Antonio Gibson has a Thanksgiving card. He doesn't have a power, so he'll probably end up just getting like an 80, maybe a mid-80 card, or something like that. But if he gets a mid-80 card, he'll hit above 90 speed, uh, above 91 excel. Nothing going to be crazy in that card, not going to be meta by any means, but still cool nonetheless. And these are the bangers, guys. We got Will Fuller, who had a huge day. He had 171 yards and two touchdowns. And now Will Fuller already has, let's see, let's see what card he has here. I believe it was a low card. Why am I not finding him? So he has a power, uh, does he have a power up? He does not, right? Okay, so Will Fuller has a base gold, so he'll probably get... Some kind of a uh, Team of the Week card, you know, it could be a low 80. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. Will Fuller, sadly. If he had a power, it could be much better. And have him kind of slow in the gold card. So if only he had a nice, good elite, that'd be cool. But the biggest one of them all, guys, Tyreek Hill. Now, he should, he does deserve a master, but I don't think he'll get a master because he literally just got a Blitz card. So pretty much add plus two to this card, right? Because you can power him up already. Add a plus one. I think he'll be getting a plus one to his power up, which could, I don't know if they'll do it. It could bring a speed to 96. It could bring a speed to 96. I don't know if they'll allow that. If they might make it so that his speed doesn't go up in it. But guys, that'll bring a speed to 96. His catch and traffic will play fake. will get above 90. Spec catch will get above 90. Like everything's gonna be above 90. It'll make this card even that much better than it already was. Hopefully, we could see a Tyree kill uh, increase there. Now, guys, for my legend hero, starting off with one guy that I think could get it is Asante Samuel. These are the throwback legend flashbacks. Now, Asante Samuel, we already have a card for him, so this would be great if we can get a 90, I will, I'm predicting 93 overall Team of the Week card, right? Plus, and then he gets powered up, so he can get it to a 94 overall, potentially. Not sure if they'll do it, but that would be super cool. Asante Samuel will be goaded. He'd be really, really fun to have. Again, he was so good in the beginning of the year. I knew Asante Samuel probably would have a 93 speed, right? 
I think a 93 speed with powered up and everything. 93 speed, I think his man coverage would probably get to around an 88, which means he would get the man coverage threshold with lockdown. His zone would get to a 99 for sure, because he'd probably have like a base 94 zone plus or 95 zone plus lockdown. And his press would probably get to low 80s plus lockdown. So his press would never get there, but he will have the man and zone threshold. And he probably can get to like a 93, 94 speed, which would be absurd. So I really do like Asante Samuel. He had three interceptions total. It was a great day. Now for the next guy, I'm going to compare him to a guy that the thing is with this card, so I think that the guy that I'm about to say, his card will be weird, right? I don't know if it'll be meta, but a lot of people are really into pocket passers this year, so it's it's feasible that it could be, you know, it's possible. I don't know if it will happen, but for my next guy, we have Peyton Manning. Now, I think Peyton Manning will kind of have, like, that a slower Tony Romo-esque kind of build. Like, it's hard to compare him because a lot of these quarterbacks are kind of, like, improvisers or guys that have, like, borderline some speed. Now, pretty much take Tony Romo's stats, increase their accuracy, and throw it on the speed. So I think Peyton Manning will have, like, a 64 speed. He threw it for six touchdowns and 236 yards, which is a great game. Low yards, a lot of touchdowns, which is pretty great. Now, I think Peyton Manning probably like a 63 speed. His throw power would probably be like a 93, 94-ish. Probably 93, 93 throw power, but his short, medium, and deep probably 93, 94 across the board. Maybe, well, yeah, probably around there. And then his throw under pressure, his throw on the wrong would probably be like, I don't even know if they'll just give him like a decent one because maybe like 85. But his throw under pressure would be really good. His play action would be really good. But well, pretty much you're going to get a super accurate quarterback, but I don't know if he'll be better than Romo. It really just depends on the overalls this week if they are going to be, um, of course, 93s. Now, for the next card, guys, this card, he was disappointing early in the year when we got him. We thought we, we kind of expected better. We thought we were going to be getting a banger, and they kind of fudged up with the card a little bit. And that's going to be King Henry. Now, Henry definitely deserves another card. Now, again, Tyreek should have had this spot for the Team of the Week current hero, but Tyreek Hill, I doubt, will get it. Now, Henry hasn't gotten an upgrade since his, so he had the 91 plus the plus one, so he's currently working at like a 93, so I'm hoping he kind of gets a 93 overall so that we can just go ahead and toss him in and then get to 94. Um, that's possible, so let's go based off this card here. So Derek Henry's had a, you know, he's had a great year. Uh, if he gets to a 94 overall, right, he would probably end up with about a 91 speed, give or take, uh, probably like an 89 excel. Now, the 91 speed, again, still slow. Still not going to make him a meta card, but his trucking and breaking tackle should be at least mid, mid low 90s. Uh, bet minimum, like 91, 92. At highest, probably 94, 95. So that's great. He's going to be a great, great, great power back. Um, decent speed. Again, I wish they would make him higher, but at this point, it's just really tough considering the dynamic of how they did his last card. And they're going to keep basing it off that card. But guys, for the current week, the current week past hero, which is like a current player still playing that did great in uh, past weeks, is going to be Russell Wilson. Dangerous Wilson. Now, yes... A decent amount of quarterbacks this week. I know it's tough and everything, but Russell Wilson had a day a few years ago. He had five touchdowns and 355 yards. Russell Wilson, I think, could get it again because he ha only has the most feared card at a 92 overall. So if he gets the LTD, that would be 94. So, and then of course, hopefully powered up. He could potentially get him to a 95 overall quarterback, which would make him awesome. Now, if they do stick with 92s and 93s, I don't think Russell Wilson gets it. So it really just kind of depends there. But I think they're going to up up the overalls this week. So if he does, he can get a 94, which gets him to a 95, which could finally give us a great Russell Wilson card. And if not, I mean, again, I don't know who else it would be, but it just, it's fun to think about. Like I like to have some fun here too as well to see like what the possible the range of outcomes are. So if Russell Wilson gets it, guys, let's base it off his current card. So he does have a lower over the team of the week. Now, I don't know if that plus one applies once you know you get the next card. So I'm not sure how that works there. But Russell Wilson does have a 92. So he can currently get to a 93 powered up. But if he gets a 93, or well, he'll get a 94 now because, of course, it's the LTD. So if he gets a 94 up to a 95, that would be great. So he could probably end up with, like, I'd say, give or take. Well, this card has a lot of potential, guys. You could definitely see him get, with a 95, he would probably get a speed to, like, an 86. I would propose probably around an 86 max. Um, I don't know if they go much more, maybe an 87. But his throw power would probably get to, like, a 92, which is great because that's what he was lacking. All of his accuracy ratings would be above 90. He'll be an elite-level passer with a high speed and his throw power would probably get up to about a 97 chemmed up, right? So you're looking at one of the most elite quarterbacks in the game. And if, even better, guys, if that speed could possibly get up with a, to an 87 or an 88, that'd be better. But I doubt it goes up. It probably goes up to an 86 max. But overall, would be super fun to see a dangerous Wilson get a nice 95 overall card. Now, again, how likely are all these predictions? You know, you know how this goes. It, it could be literally anyone. It could be a defensive player. Who knows? But guys, it's definitely fun to make these lists. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel and you want to join the Poodle Squad, go down below, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. That's about it. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoy your last day of the Blitz. It's my finals week in school, so I've been like super, super busy, guys. I don't know if it's been shown in the videos that like, you know, I'm doing only one or two. 
it's been horrible. It's been finals week, you know, studying presentations, everything. So sorry for the lack of a uh, lack of maybe content per se, if you guys want to call it that. But enjoy the rest of your uh, your week. I will be back, of course, tomorrow with some more videos. I'm out. Peace.